Coming up on this, our 16th attempt at a Linux Gamecast. Old school platforming is back. In the form of Nicky and the Robots, it's at Alpha 1. And Mist Online has finally released the source code. It's open source. And some Russian cats have designed a bathroom escape simulation game. Then, we're going to take a look at Spiral Knights. And see what they did right and really see what they did wrong. Let's go. Before we even get started, everyone should head over to HumbleBundle.com. That's right, the third Humble Indie Bundle is out. You can pick up Trine, Shadowgrounds, Shadowgrounds Survivor, and really that's it for right now. There's another game that you'll get access to once it's finished, but pay what you want. And if you look, um, Linux users are, again for the third time in a row, having a higher per-purchase average, so keep that up, you know, around the $7 mark. Now, the first thing I want to look at this week is Mist Online. Now, be perfectly honest, I didn't know this game existed, but it goes by Uru, you are you, which... I'm probably pronouncing wrong, but they've opened up the client and the 3D Max plugin. Right now, there's no Linux client, but the guys have also launched the servers. Apparently they'd closed them, so once the client is out, you'll be able to log in, create an account, and play. Granted, you have the original game artwork, which meant you probably had purchased the game at some point. Hopefully they will put that online for purchase, which you might just be able to get off of eBay. Another thing we want to look at is this crazy... Well, I thought it was going to be a crazy game called Escape the Toilet, a triple flush. It's something put about by some Russian cats where, depending on how much you drink, might be called a simulator. You wake up in the bathroom and try to escape. I tried playing the game, and true to the description, it is a text-based adventure. But maybe my version had some bugs in it, because even by following the tutorial at the beginning, I could never get to the bathroom section to really give it a go. But, you know, it has three sub-games, uh, Escape the Toilet Classic, Escape the Toilet 2, Madness Harden, and Escape the Toilet 3, the um, Ceramic Challenge. So, give it a go. Maybe you can get it to work, and it'll be a bit of fun. Now, something that came out of nowhere last week, since I should have had this out last week, but is Nicky and the Robots. It is a 2D platformer with a really nice engine behind it, and that's something we're really lacking on Linux. You know, we have the um, Secret Mario Chronicles, um, Fregato, and I think that's about it. But a couple of fun things with this. Um, it's a physics platformer, which is always nice. But Nikki can take over the robots and program them and make them do... All types of fun things, plus it comes with a level editor so you can create your own packs. So give that a look. But I really want to touch on Spiral Nights. And again, I apologize, this is going to be a very short episode because we have a um, couple of how-tos to finish knocking out. And I really want to cover everything with um, Trine and 
Shadow Grounds with a humble indie bundle. But Spiral Knights, after four years of development, has launched. The big thing being, it is a Java game. You can download a nav native, can't talk today, installer, and run it locally, but you'll connect to the server. It is free to play, and free to play was plastered everywhere on the site on launch day. Technically, yes, it's free to play, and don't worry about it being Java. It's not 1999. Most of the heavy lifting is done with the OpenGL, so it's going to hit your computer on, I would say, at least a 2.8 gigahertz box. You're not going to see any problems with all the eye candy cut on. But, there's some issues with it. First, it's a beautiful looking game. If you ever played Zelda for the Super Nintendo, I know that's dating myself. You remember that looking overhead running around pseudo 3D. Well, this is a real 3D engine, but you're pretty much stuck with the overhead view. And the goal is to run around, collect items, sell them, and trade for energy. And hope you don't run out of energy, because once you run out of energy, you effectively can no longer play the game. This really sucks. I didn't know about it until about maybe 30 minutes into my first go. And I realized I could no longer descend into the dungeons, levels, or whatever they've decided to name them until I received more energy. There's three ways to go about doing this. Um, the first way, you can buy more energy. PayPal, credit card, etc. Not going to do that. I'm not paying to grind. Option two, you can wait 24 hours, and they'll give you another 90 or 100 energies which will allow you to run around for another 30 minutes. Option 3. You collect everything you can while you're running around grinding. Sell it. Get some coins or tokens, whatever the currency was called. Put that on the free market. And try to barter for energy. Pretty much everyone seems to have picked number three. There's nothing wrong with that, but you end up with 95% of the players running around the arcade and the section outside of that, which I've already forgotten. And that 95% of the people in-game are discussing how they should sell, what they should make, what's selling best, and what the future market is for energy versus the um, in-game currency. 4% are talking about the best way to game the system in order to get more energy without spending any money. And there's about 1%, which is me and a handful of other players, running around trying to have conversations to figure out, you know, what this game is about. And, you know, I really was not looking for an economics lesson when I went to play this little fantasy top-down role-play game. That's pretty much what I got. Maybe your experience is different, but even on the forums... There seems to be a lot of discussion, and this is a Spiral Knights forums, about this being a problem, and they're working on it. Maybe they'll get it sorted. I do hope they do, but definitely check the game out. Like I said, it is beautiful, and it plays on a relatively low-end system. So, that's wrapped up. If you want to scream at us, it is um, me directly, Vin at linuxgamecast.com Stop by our forums linuxgamecast.com forward slash forums And that's pretty much it. This weekend 
we will have a couple of how to's out that some people have been asking for. It's just, you know, time issues. So until then, cheers.